Hey, hey, welcome back to 98.3 FM, the beer belly. We got Hawaiian shirts, Bud Light and a beer koozie, cheeseburger in paradise coming up top of the hour, and we're giving away a Lincoln Town car. I've got a lot of bad things I wish that I had never done, because they're coming back, coming back to me now. Hey, we'll get you back to the music in a moment, but this is simultaneously the greatest and the most ridiculous vehicle ever made by my countrymen. <laughs> Oh, I see you back there. Get back there. Second place. Oh, we'll get back to the music in a moment, but the year is 1994. Hair metal is officially dead. We elected a saxophone as president. <laughs> we had Windows 3.1. Desert Storm was a rousing success, and Super Metroid was released. And in every arcade... Yeah, Ace of Base superset coming up at the bottom of the hour. Bottom of the hour. As a nation, we were feeling pretty pleased with ourselves, and there was no reason to hide behind green and wind power. <laughs> See, the Lincoln Town car makes no apologies for its size. It's John Popper before the stomach staple. He's going back to Ponderosa Buffet for the fourth time because he can. Yeah, drop trow and get some sloppy seconds because the town car will tell you right on the dash how much fuel you're wasting. Oh, brother. This thing is huge. You can lay in the trunk and stretch your feet all the way out. Junk in the trunk. Whoa, what's this? A tape player special request. Crank it up. It's the kinks. The driver's seat has more controls than a hypercube. And passengers in the back have their own cigarette lighters. One for you and one for two. You get a glove box and you get a glove box and you get a glove box and you get a glove box. And you get a glove box. Here's the heart. It's a 4.7 liter modular V8 overhead camshaft. Ooh, overhead cams. No more push rods. Big valve covers. Big ignition coils. Oversized brake reservoir. It's got a massive ducted fan breathing on a radiator the size of Veterans Stadium. Load up on D-cell batteries. Get ready to boo Santa. And all this American engineering gets you is 210 horsepower. That's it. That's it? No, that's it. Just 210. A 94 Evo 1 will make 240 horsepower out of a 2-liter 4-cylinder with a hairdryer. That's the point, kid. A town car spends its entire life barely cracking 2100 RPM. All you holier-than-thou Volvo owners in Ithaca boast that your 240 has gone 300,000 miles. So, this body-on-frame boat will go 100 grand further than that. It's all down to a detuned engine. Oh sure, the modular V8 could make more, there's plenty of room for tuning, but 210 horsepower, that's adequate. That's enough. See, this engine is like Larry Bird. He's out loping around the court while you're spinning your wheels, and then he's going to outwork your entire D at the buzzer. While your Swedish brick is out there banging and rattling around the hills, this Lincoln runs quietly and noiselessly cradling you in serene comfort. So, Mr. Britain, I love your music, I love your MGs, and I now love your chocolate biscuits. So visit, please, as much as you complain, and as much as you boast, and as much as you make fun of our big engines that don't make a lot of power. You secretly love every minute of it. You may hate our culture, but you watched Avengers twice. You may hate our burgers, but you're taking a second bite. So enjoy this mammoth vehicle. It refuses no one. It is affordable to everyone. And when all the little Peugeots and Renaults and Fiats and Cavaliers and Neons and Mazda 626s, when all the cars break down, this ugly, unashamed, magnificent land yacht will bring all of you to safety. This beautiful, overweight behemoth will endure.